Hey and welcome to Velocity VFX. Uh, today I will be showing you a After Effects uh, tutorial. We will be going. We will be doing tracking and adding 3D objects to our project using Video Copilot plugin 3D um, Element 3D. So let's go. Let's get going. The first thing we want to do is obviously add our clip into our composition. I've already done that, and I've also shortened the length. To where I want to start and where I want to end. Having done that, you what you want to do is right click and click on track camera. Click on it like that and click, uh, open the advanced tab right there and click on detailed analysis and then wait for the track to finish, the camera track to finish. Might take a few moments as I am on the laptop, so let's just wait. Finally, our camera tracking is finished. Now we have all these small points of tra tracking points. And let's see the reason why we want to do a detailed analysis is because now we can see our average error. It's 0 0.36. And I recommend anything below 0 0.60 to be a good track. Um, and this is this is really nice. Zero point three is pretty low. It has pretty low error rate, so that's good. Um, now, now we can start working with the uh, uh, with our tracking. The first thing you want to do is um, find a nice flat area like this. Uh, to, to, because why, the reason why we want to do is we want to set our ground plane as steady ground plane so right click on a nice point like this like nice and flat point like this and go to set ground plane and origin set ground plane and origin click on that secondly you want to do create solid and camera there like this and now you have a camera and a solid a 3D, 3D track camera and a solid. The solids are pre uh, very important because this are our track. Uh, this ha uh, contains our position, uh, tracking our tracking position. So let's say we want to add a um, a building there, a building there, and maybe a, a couple of building in this area. What you want to do is wherever you want to place a building, you want to make a solid. Make sure it's pretty flat and even uh, place like so, and create a solid. Maybe one here as well, another solid, and let's say we're going to add a building maybe all the way over there, like so. Make sure it's pretty even and flat, and maybe maybe one here and let's see one here we'll see we'll see how many we'll end up adding um but let's let's have this this amount of solids as a starting position now uh, obviously you are going to need uh, uh the plugin from video copilot called 
element 3D to add your 3D object or 3D buildings. So what you want to do is layer new solid black and same size as the com composition. Click OK. Go to FX if you have the plugin. Go to Element 3D and click on it. Um, click on Group, Particle Replicator, Point, Plane, and hit Scene Setup like so. And go to Metro if you have the Metropolitan pack from once again a video called lot Go to Metropolitan and scroll down to whatever building you want to add into your project uh, I think I'm going to add this one and let's see this one and I'm going to do something a little bit different I'm going to add them as one building just to spice it up a little bit Like so, just for f for the heck of it. Mm, let's see. There we go. Uh, now, uh, let me just widen the top one. just so it looks like one building right here we go now what you want to do after that is actually if we go back to scene setup I want to do some lighting uh, preset environment backlight We go to V1 and choose the town one and give it a little bit a little bit more light. And now what you want to do is go down. If we open up this one, go down. If you are on your scene setup, go to a group one and scroll all the way till you're just above group two, where it says group utilities. You want to open create group now, like so, and create. Click on create. Now uh, this group now will, uh, this is where you control the building, you can move it, you can like do stuff with it, you can scale it up, rotate, but also it will contain our uh, tracking data from the solid, uh, from the solids. So let's say I want to put this building over there, I have one track solid there, it's this green one, let me bring it up there, what you want to do is click on P position and go to group null and click on P as well this is the track data so click on position edit copy go to group null click on position edit paste now you see the building moved over there because now it will, fo will follow the track data and it will follow the camera the tra 3d track cameras movement let me just um, shut off this one it will still work the track will still work it doesn't matter so now you can start working with it you can scale it up rotate etc so let me rotate it a little bit click on R and not so much maybe somewhat like this and maybe rotate it like so and now you can also go back to your element 3d setup and go to the render settings lighting and additional lighting and you want to maybe play around with it a little bit see what fits this scene not that uh, I should try okay, maybe and maybe rotate a little bit and see rotate the light a little bit and see what works maybe not run that let me see basic to 
just play around with it until you find something that you think fits the scene so maybe scale it up a little bit I think that's quite decent uh, so that's one building let's say we want to add multiple or more buildings um, let's say we want to add a couple of buildings over here let me see which one the orange solid would be perfect for that this one so what you want to do is create another layer solid and just repeat the process go to FX video core palette element 3d um, group null particle look plane scene setup and find another building that would suit our scene let's see I say this one yes I want and just do the same environment and oops, the wrong environment we want and uh, town uh, like so and once again go all the way to create null just above group 2 create null and that's that one right yeah that's that the top one um so we just have to find the orange solid that we are going to use to track the building i just like to remove it just below that the null click on p and the group null p again go to track solid copy position and pass it into the groove now paste and now that building is tracked and now you can do the same thing again you should come like play around scale it maybe up, rotate it however you like give it some light in okay and then let's give it some lighting So let's go all the way to render settings, lighting, and just find find what whatever fits. Maybe this wasn't the best building, but yeah. And also maybe add some ambient occlusion. And obviously to sell the whole um, concept, you would have to add um, you would have to add some shadows and some uh, color correction curves etc there we have we have two buildings now in the scene let's see how good they tracked let it just render for maybe a couple of seconds and then we can check how well it, it tracked say that's enough we go all the way back make a little bit bigger and see that's perfect track ok 
like uh, I can see the, uh, the second building was in Sicily. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty good track, I'd say. And we can just add on more and more buildings and just populate this whole general area. In fact, let me add maybe one more building and then we can wrap it up. So it's the same process, no solid effect video call palette element 3D. Open up your scene setup, particle replicator plane and click on scene setup to enter it and find your whatever you want to add say maybe this time we are, will add this building right there uh, just give it some environment and town all right go all the way back all the way down to create null and click on create we get it yeah there we go yeah there, there, there it is so um let's see where do we put this one actually yeah there that one okay we are going to put this one if Right there, that red one looks good. So just bring it. Yeah. Wish I had a second screen. Here we go. Uh, P. P. And I'm just copy the position of the track solid. Tracked solid. Copy. Go all the way up, position, edit, paste, and turn it off. Now, let's have a look at it, scale it up. That's the first thing, maybe rotate. Uh, not that way. Maybe something like this, and then move it. And maybe give it even more. Let's see. Ah, that's too much. Something like that. And let's maybe let me see this one. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh give it some light, etc. <laughs> Render settings. Lighting. basic and maybe rotate it the light angle and like we can put like a lot of like more buildings three or four more buildings I think maybe two three buildings here and more five six over here and that's basically the, the whole idea um, how to add buildings into your project so that's basically the, the whole idea so thank you for watching this tutorial uh, if you liked it please subscribe thumbs up comment and if there is any question you want to know or anything else uh, please let me know thank you peace out